shit on my table. Oh. Fio E18. Kunlun. See, Olympus, see, Fio, Olympus is a good name. Mount Olympus is... Kunlun doesn't jive with English. So, reconsider that. I think I've got everything out of here. I'll double check. Ah, uh, it's just books. I think these are just books in here. Nope, of course it's not just books. Damn, that is the thickest goddamn wire. This wire is so stiff and thick, I had to smell it just now. So that's just... This is a stiff, thick, terrible wire. I wouldn't even bother. All right. Things. Stuff. Books. No one that listens to things needs to read. Little feeties. Six of them. If you want to put them on the back of this so it doesn't slide, or if you want to have it so that it doesn't mess up the beautiful wood back on your phone, you put those there and then it would fit on a curve. Three cock rings, three cock rings, and one cock ring is extra small. So we've got two big cock rings and one tiny cock ring. Adorable. Wiring. Actually, bag. Look, a little bag. It's come to the bag. It's a very pretty little bag with a little Velcro strap next. Comes with a standard stereo to stereo right angle. So if you want to just feed source in from the top, from the phone to something else, good. Comes with this wire, which is a, actually, it's, some, a lot of people need this. This is a three and a half mono to RCA because there's a fiber optic out in the bottom of it. So you could use that for coaxial out. And it comes with not one, but two OTG shorties. I think they're the same. No, are they the same? They must be the same. Are they not the same? Yeah, they're exactly the same. I thought maybe one flipped the connector over so it could be more convenient, but it doesn't matter. They just did the same. And they're nice and short, but they still stick out the bottom of your phone approximately the size of like a thumb. So, now. I have it hooked up to the PC, and I hadn't have it, had it hooked up to the PC until today. I was doing things with my phone with it because it makes perfect sense. It's Sophia, it's portable. Hooked it up today, and I couldn't get it to go. Couldn't make it make go. It was just not happening. So what I ended up doing out of total desperation is I plugged in the USB that I usually plug things into, into it, and then I hooked up another USB into the alternate power port, and now it works fine. So for some reason there's two USB plugs into it and then it works. And I'm gonna test it now by choosing the output device. That will be the Wasapi event to the FIO E18 at 24 bit, blah, 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 rat, tat, tat, method man. And now I'm gonna unplug this one and it still works. I don't know what that problem was, so one works as, as it should. That was weird. Just want to tell you about the weirdness. I couldn't get it to work in either one, and then I had to do both, and then it worked. So, the FIO E18. If I click this off, will it... Yes, it will. Excellent. That's the proper reaction. Turn it back on. Click. Blaze again. It's a portable battery powered headphone amp and DAC. That's on low gain. It's blowing my brain up on low gain with the Mark Threes. Let's put it on high. Oh God. Wow. Put the bass boost on. Will that work? <gasps> that works! That works on PC! Awesome! Next track, last track, play pause. Oh, why don't more DACs do that? Fuck! I didn't think that would work. I know it works on the phone, but I didn't think that would work on the PC, and it fucking does. Come on, everybody else. Where are the next and last and play pause buttons on my Micah Origin? 
or the fucking SMSL Panda stack or any other DAC amp like this. Fucking this. Could you imagine with the remote control and everything? It's got all these buttons. Next track. So it's doable. It's literally acting as media keys and you could play and pause. Ah, uh, uh, damn it. That's a feature that pisses me off because nothing else has it. So if you use this on your desk, which it isn't designed for, it is designed for, it's working on your desk. You set the bottom switch and I'll disconnect it and show you the actual unit in a second. I'm just too angry right now. Plus the kill a kill soundtrack came on, so. Pause. Pause. Unplug. <sighs> that, was a, that was a good moment. And then a hateful fucking moment. Everything needs media keys. Just functionality and it doesn't have it. Alright, so physical unit. It's on. You click on and off with the well-protected knurled metal power slash volume knob. Click. The indicator here is different colors for different things. Red, I think, is just on. Well, let me see if this changes with this. Yeah. I know it was purple when it was hooked up to the PC. So I think when it has a DAC, it's red and blue, and then it does both of them if it does other things. So red maybe means just headphone amp is on, and blue just means connections on, and both means purple. So face is only indicators. Up here we have the volume knob, high low gain, and on off bass boost, which the bass boost is okay. It might be a little much, but if you're plugging weak ass headphones in, you may want to throw that on. Here we have those media keys on the side that will communicate via the OTG cable or apparently USB into your computer, which is excellent and amazing. The back has a reset button down here, which you have to use a pin for. Nothing, up, nothing, 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 nothing on this side either. So top has, obviously you can see the volume is a little, it goes from one, it goes from zero to nine. So, doesn't go past nine. Headphone out is in the middle, and this is line in or coaxial digital out. Actually, will it be line out too? I know it's for this. If you want it to go digital out, that's what that's for. Or if you're gonna use a little hopper cable, that one, to go from phone to phone or from not phone. And then of course the bottom is where all the excitement stuff, oh actually that's coaxial out. So that is line out, son of a bitch, I think. We'll just grumble about that working fine. Coax allowed is down here. Dedicated its own thing. Boom. And next to it we have a micro USB, a switch, and another micro USB. Now this micro USB has a picture of a battery on it, which means it's for battery charging. Just charge your batteries on it. This one, however, is has a selectable switch, which says phone in, PC in, or charge out. So PC in is what I had it on just now, plugged into the PC. Then there's phone in, which is for OTG cables, which I'm going to plug one in right now, which actually there's a specific direction you have to do it. And I don't recall which way that is. We'll have to try. And then the last one is charge out. And that's if your phone is dying and you want to suck the life out of this to charge your phone. Well, that's doable. Let me... It's the right order. Oh, God damn it, it's not gonna be. Does this one do better? No. Gotta go twisty twist. Or I gotta put it on the back, like that. Which is probably better anyway. Now, hit play on this. Plug my headphones back in. It's, it's counting up and I'm, it's not playing out of the speaker so it's playing somewhere. It's playing out of here. Just immediately. No problem. Next track. Boom. And we got purple. Full battery. Little extra bass. My only issue with, with like a knob like this is if you do... First of all, who is cock ringing their phone to this? That would just ruin your screen. You would no longer be able to control your phone. So it doesn't make any sense. Go get some 3M dual lock. If you have a flat back phone, my phone is curved. Which makes it a nightmare for any of this sort of stuff. You have a flat back phone, you've got a case that's flat backed, especially a case, just 3M dual lock, boom, boom, clip, and you'd have it together without any rubber bands or cock rings. So it's just working right now. Where's my volume knob? 
No, not that. Okay. It does not get as loud, and I noticed this. This amp does not get as loud pushing these headphones through my phone, even though my phone's volume's all the way up, and I got it in high gain all the way up, it's just listenable. When it's through the PC, it gets louder. L significantly louder, like 25% louder. So that's an odd thing for a portable. It should be, it's a DAC. The DAC should get DAC signal, and then it should just amp out. And I don't know why it doesn't do it. I've only tried a couple. I've tried Spotify and Google Google Play. But that's maximum volume on high gain, and I'm, you know, that's loud, but it's not, like, killing me loud. So, don't know what, what that is, but it is something to note. If you get this and you don't think it's playing loud, plug it into your computer, try it as a computer DAC, and see if it gets louder. In fact, everyone who has this, try that right now. Right now! At least a thousand of you should do it. Uh, next track. Actually, wait, is that last track? That's the last track. That's next track. Forward. Constantly forward. So it works. Uh, my personal preference, and do I have it right here and I could find it in a heartbeat? Or am I going to be a dick and make this a really shitty part of the video? Be here. There's the Shore 215s. I need to get the review. I I don't see it, but uh, I bought a one foot OTG mini to mini. Is that it? No, that's not it. It's floating around somewhere in the cave, and I think if I could get a three foot, that's what I'd use. Drop your phone in your pocket. You've got control keys here. Just p pick this up. Spin your fucking volume. Next track. Pause. Next track. I'm not a huge fan of like staring at my phone and picking individual songs. I'm just a let it sort of happen, random shuffle kind of guy. So if I could detach the big block that makes my headphones sound good from my phone, that makes it a lot easier. And then if, you, if you're done adjusting this, you just drop this in your pocket, pull the phone out. So then you got a phone wire going down, headphone coming out, or you got a headphone wire going, it's, so. I liked when you separate these with at least some distance. This real close shit is, eh. Obviously the easiest way to do that, if you don't want to buy a long OTG cable, is playing. I'm gonna get pulled for that, I know it. Here. So here is just a three and a half millimeter and now I'm going to push it into this. It's a three and a half millimeter. And now I lose all functionality as far as the buttons and the charge, the emergency charge. But now I can just have this. I can put it in my pocket. And now I just have this. And I could do that with it. So that's my preferred methodology is to. Get the big amp. You can get as big an amp as you want. You just keep it in your pants. Keep it in your pants, boys. You set your volume, and then you you could still volume through here like normal. You just, you know, no one has to know about you, your secret, your dirty, dirty little secret. That you've got a Kunlun in your pants. Again, these do nothing. That'd be cool if they did something. I think you'd need a four pin. I don't even know if that would be programmed in. So, does it work? Yes. Does it come with enough accessories? Fucking yeah, just piles of them. Piles. I'm gonna have to put all that back together at some point now. It doesn't come with a wire like this. Uh, I don't even know if I could link this wire. I'll look for something, because this is my flat one from the uh, Brainwaves HM9s. And I love this cable. It's on my 600s. It lives on my 600s. But you can get another decent cable. Maybe one with a right angle here, and then you would just have... It would just disappear into your pants and then come out of your pants with power. So yeah, it's definitely doing its job, and it even works on a PC. It, it does, you could replace your sound card with it. What happens when I have this plugged in and then do this? PC in. <gasps> oh God, it kills you. You die immediately. 
it takes back over. <clears throat> this review might be done as I spend some time in the hospital. Am I hearing both? Hold on. I'll lower this here. Wow, it's weird. It's trying to play both. I don't know if you could hear that. That's the Kill La Kill soundtrack with Spanish guys singing over it. So I guess don't do that. I wonder if that's trying to line out. Oh, that's the headphone out. So we got to take this. How could I find out if this is line outing? I guess if I plugged another set of headphones in. Something efficient. Got to do this quick. I don't want this review going 27 minutes. Because I'm being a dick about things. That's playing out. That's playing. That's playing. I think it's significantly lower. Nope, not really. Interesting. So she'll actually push two headphones if you really wanted to, because the line out, a line out is basically just a weak headphone out. And those are super efficient headphones, so it worked. So yeah, the uh, Kunlun is Kunlun, is very good Kunlun. I'm gonna miss it. I bought a really cheap uh, SAP 7, which is hiding back here somewhere. That's just an amp. And this will get its own review if I, or maybe I'll buy something else to compete against it. I hate doing just like, review of this, at least this has things. This is just this. Oh, next time.